I'll be speaking about the use of smartphones for uh, uh, for our story trial practice. Uh, now, as we are all trying for perfection in our story trials uh, outcome, uh, this is one study which is very interesting. We showed uh, what are the different areas where uh, we may have errors, which ultimately results in uh, wrong IL placement. And the two important things is the re reference axis marking and the alignment axis marking, which leads to around uh, three to four degrees of average uh, error in the uh, IL alignment. So as already been discussed, there are so many methods with bubble, without bubble marker, then uh, these uh, electronic markers. Uh, but there is a simple instrument called gyroscope, which uh, you know uh, measures the balance, measures the axis. And it's same like our vestibular apparatus, which uh, you know uh, balances our body. And this gyroscope is there with everyone, every each of us. And it's there in our smartphone, which helps us in doing all these motion sensing gaming and all these things. Uh, that is the gyroscope sensor which we have. Unlike the uh, previous products which require, you know, uh, you have to purchase something, it is free because we are anyway using our uh, smartphones. It's a factory calibrated because uh, all of us taught, uh, talked about different ways to do it, but uh, as uh, uh, Haldipur Kasar pointed out, there is a Jojo, Joja instrument which calibrates the actual uh, slit beam but we never do that. Even with uh, free hand marking or the mark where bubble marker is not there, we are absolutely not sure whether the blades are exactly horizontal. Because sometimes over the time when you re-sterilize these instruments, they tend to bend a bit. And we never look for uh, such bends and we keep on making similar errors. And it's also accurate. Uh, it's, it's not uh, something new, uh, it's not a rocket science. Uh, these kind of uh, protractors are already available for uh, different professions like uh, architects and other uh, uh, professions where uh, they, they use these kind of protractors to see the alignment, see the angulation of different structures. Uh, there is a camera also in this and you can just measure the angle made by the Tower of Pisa or some anything. So same thing, uh, I uh, made, modified it for use for uh, Tori Kyles. And uh, let's go through a small video which is there. Uh, you have audio here? You have audio? Yes. Achha. How to play this video? Ye play karna. You want? Wo milta hai. Okay. Uh, so here is a small video which will show, I will show you how to use this uh, uh, Android Toric application. Uh, the technique is very simple. I just do freehand marking. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to use the iToric application for using it to check whether you are marking what you have done for placing the Toric IL, whether it is correct or not. So this is a, a simple, uh, sorry. Uh, this is a simple freehand marking. The advantages of freehand marking is that patient usually is quite cooperative uh, for uh, your marking because even on slit lamp or when you are uh, using an instrument very near to the eye, patient tend to squeeze, tend to, the eyes tend to rotate upwards. I have used this freehand marking even in children where I want to uh, put uh, Tori Kaiwells. So this is very easy and patients are usually quite cooperative in uh, while they are, we are doing the uh, preoperative marking with this. Now, most important thing in such cases uh, is that patient has to look straight. In this particular video, you can see he's, she is looking little upwards, but you have to be at the patient's uh, level and you have to mark. Now, the accuracy is not a problem because we are going to check it with the uh, iToric application. This is how the application looks like. Uh, once you open it, you can magnify, you can start the torch of the uh, uh, camera and look, uh, asking the patient to look straight, just autofocus and take a nice pic of the uh, marked cornea. Once you get a good image, you just have to pinch zoom so that it fits, the cornea should fit the outer circle. Uh, the advantage of using this outer circle is that if the eyeball is rotated or the patient is looking right, left or upward, downward, the cornea becomes oval. So you always know that you have to again uh, recheck and re uh, do the thing. Also you can look at the pupil whether it is centered 
uh, you can also look at the natural landmarks around. So once I have got this uh, picture and I have pinch zoom it and fit it in the outer circle, uh, there is a right lower bottom, there is a protractor sign and once you click it, there are two red dots will appear. Now I just have to align these uh, dots over the marks that I have placed. Now it will give you readings in the form of what was the camera rotation at the time of taking picture and what was the effective mark rotation. Here as you can see it is a four degrees mark rotation. Now I just have to enter the axis at which I want to place the IOL. So I have to place the axis at 173. There was a mark rotation of four degrees. So this uh, and application will give you that the new axis of placement should be 169. So from the marks that you have made, you have to place the IOL at 169 degrees instead of 173 degrees. So it will correct the error which have been made while marking the cornea. You can also see the natural landmarks and you can just during surgery also you can just see that whether conjunctal vessel or something is there nearby the marks where or nearby the place where you want to place this uh, IOL and you can you know make changes accordingly. This application is available on Android, Google Play Store. So these are the steps that you have to go through. First take a nice snap with patient looking straight, looking uh, away, uh, looking straight ahead. And once you do that, you pin zoom the cornea so that it fits the outer circle. Now press the protractor sign, align these red dots on the marks that you have placed on the cornea. Now enter the axis of placement where you want to place the IOL. So it will give you the corrected or the new axis of placement just like the eye trace your, uh, the machine gives. So uh, there are other applications also like Toricam is available on iPhone. My experience with iToric has been good. I have I've used it for last one and a half years. Uh, I compared my results in last one year as compared to the one year previous to that where I, I was using just the bubble marker. And what I found is that uh, average residual cylinder uh, from my cases had decreased from 32% to almost 22%. In 11% cases, uh, I found that there was an error in marking was more than five degrees where I have marked with the bubble marker and then checked with the iToric application. So uh, there is no need to invest in all these instruments. Also no need to re-sterilize and uh, reuse these instruments because you are doing a contact procedure just pre prior to surgery and you have to be a sure about the ster sterilization or sterility of that particular instrument. So you just use a sterile marking pen which is available for 20, 30 rupees and use your Android mobile to make a clean mark and accuracy. Thank you so much.